So to regain slight power, Satcher's Arena would run for city clerk against Alita Godwin. And Omar Bradley would enter the race for mayor against incumbent Mayor Asia Brown. By entering the race for mayor, Omar Bradley had gotten indicted on more corruption charges. There is no statute of limitations on misappropriation of city funds. So the Los Angeles District Attorney filed the case. Now the King of Compton is running for mayor while fighting a criminal case at the Clara Folt Courthouse. The Bradley Zarita crime family would run their campaign based off Asia Brown not fixing the potholes. The mayor has just as much power as the four council members that sit on the city council. The mayor alone does not have authority to vote on policies, approve projects or contracts. Compton's charter is outdated and has been in place for decades. It isn't the mayor's job to manage the city day to day. The mayor's job is to set a vision for the city, bring new resources, and create new policies to improve our city. All of this requires cooperation from the city council. The charter was well written decades ago and assumes all council members will vote in the best interest of the city and work together as a unified body. The city manager is the one who is the CEO of the city and which it is the city manager's job to run and operate the city functions of the city, including managing employees. But at this time, Compton City Manager Cecil Rambo is being controlled by the Zarita Bradley crime family and their council majority voting block. Now, with Jana and her voting block directing the city manager has caused more nepotism and chronism, hiring more Zarita relatives with no experience and qualifications, even giving Satcher Zarita a new position, the Deputy Director of Parks and Recreation in January 2019 without meeting the minimum qualifications or testing for the $100,000 a year position. It is well known by city employees, which did not endorse Jana Zarita because of their family's corruption in City Hall, that Satcher Zarita manipulated the city manager and whatever request that the mayor and council members who are not going along with the program of Jana Zarita would be blocked. In 2017, a few days before voting, Omar Bradley had done a radio interview and he began to downplay women, that women didn't have an authority to bring gangs together like Mayor Brown's gang intervention program has done in the past and Compton's crime and murder rates had declined drastically. Omar bluntly stated that women need to sit in the back and let men run things. All out, because I'm in all your neighborhoods, that's hiding behind this chick. You know better than this. Because I love women, and I'll fight for them, but I ain't following you nowhere. You know better than this. Did you think it was appropriate going on a radio show, calling an elected official a chicken, inferring that women have no position in leadership roles? I don't think I said that. I listened to it. Well, I think you're mistaken. Bradley later clarified his position. I'm from the 50s, darling, and I was, I'm an old model. You understand? I don't look at political correctness the way you do. Omar Bradley had smeared his own campaign because his comments had made national attention on the Channel 2 News. With election in two days and the Bradley Zarita crime family being confronted about all the corruption in their family, during Omar Bradley's tenure, the pressure began to bring the gangster mayor out. Omar Bradley and his supporters began to tear down his opponent's campaign signs the night before the elections and started attacking campaign canvassers. The crime family had staged attacks on voters at the polls, bullying residents for votes. The night has began to expire, and the majority of the ballots were counted, and incumbent Mayor Asia Brown had succeeded Omar Bradley for the second time and Satcher Zarita lost to Alita Godwin. Omar began to act unruly in the council chambers. The city of Compton began to go back to normal with Asia Brown remaining the mayor and Janet Zarita and her three-member voting bloc. The process in Compton still remains at a halt with Janet Zarita blocking all initiatives 
that the mayor's office brings forth to the city and Satra influencing Cecil Rambo to help keep the city in despair so that the mayor would get all the blame. Satcher Zarita is also the existing president of the failing Compton Unified School District. How can someone be a president on the school board with no high school diploma? We can explain how. When your family has a known name in the city for over 35 years, the citizens who vote are number one, elderly, and two, they are voting only by name familiarity. Number three, cheating by absentee ballots, or you can say vote by mail. And number four, that the voting turnout has very low numbers, so to get beat by an opponent by 51% is easy if only 6% of the city is voting and 4% being senior citizens, in which the senior citizens vote for the name Zarita because they remember Dolores Zarita. The women who ran the Meals on Wheels program who delivered breakfast, lunch, and dinner to the senior citizens of Compton. Now the year is 2019, and Janet Zarita's seat is up for election. And now the Bradley Zarita crime family has to secure Janet's seat, so they are out campaigning bullying Latino residents to sign and hand over their ballots, and the Zarita canvassers are filling out the voter-by-mail ballots, voting for Jana Zarita. The election on April 16th, Zarita had fallen into a runoff with her opponent, Michelle Chambers, and now they have to secure the senior vote, as stated before, the senior citizens hold the majority of votes in the city of Compton. Satcher Zarita was just promoted by the city manager, Cecil Rambo, Satchel was working in Public Works, now promoted to Assistant Director of Parks and Recreation, which controls Dollar Hyde Community Center, where all the seniors from the Dollar Hyde Senior Citizen Building attend to do recreation. The mayor nor city council has no jurisdiction over Satchel Zarita's new promotion. The city manager followed the instructions of the Zaritas and ignored the city's policies and minimum qualifications. Now, Satcher Zarita has just gained influence and control over the senior votes to help her sister, Jana Zarita, secure her vote from the seniors. Omar Bradley is the brain behind the scheme of things. Satcher Zarita tells Jana Zarita what to do, and Jana Zarita tells Councilman Isaac Galvan and City Councilwoman Tana McCoy what to do. If you pay attention to Satcher Zarita, she is all over the city of Compton from being the president of the Compton Unified School District Board to now holding a position in Parks and Recreation. How is it that a woman with no high school diploma nor a college degree hold positions that have the responsibility of decision-making for what's best for the Compton residents? The Zarita sisters had started a cancer walk in Compton, preying on the weaknesses of people of a heartfelt subject of cancer. Cancer is a touchy subject and can become very emotional for families and residents who support their cancer walk. But the main question is the money that is generated from the Zarita's cancer walk. What cancer organization is the money donated to? Most cancer walk organizations usually present a check on the day or days later after the money is all accounted for and publicly present a check to the desired organization. The question is, why is the Bradley Zarita crime family going through so much trouble to gain power in Compton? Where is the hidden money? On June 6, vote no on Jana Zarita if you want to see a change in Compton. Please leave a comment and share this video so you can stop the corruption of the Bradley Zarita crime family.